As in CSS, we have different type of units that we do use to define our quantities, right? So the three kind, so th so the three type of units we do use in CSS. First is absolute unit. Second one is relative unit, and the third one is percentage unit. Okay, so let's look one by one and understand what it means. Let's start with absolute unit and it is the most easiest to understand. So absolute means something which is fixed. For example, let's say I want to measure one centimeter. Even if I measure that one centimeter on earth or on Mars or in water or on some other metal, right? That one centimeter is absolutely fixed. It doesn't depend upon the material to which we are comparing it with, right? So such units, which is complete within itself and it does not depend on anything else is what we call absolute unit, right? So in CSS, we do use PX that refers to pixels, right? So when we define that 500 pixels, it means we are giving a fixed size, right? So if I define a width of 500, that means even though my mobile device if even though if I operate that element in a mobile device, it's still be the 500 pixels. If I operate the UI in a develop in a desktop, still it is 500 pixels. If I operate it in a laptop screen, still it is 500 pixels. Okay, so it doesn't depend upon the kind of screen which on which we are using that UI, right? So such units is what we call absolute unit. So the second kind of unit that we have is percentage. Now it's depend upon its parent, right? And as we know about the percentage, it's totally vary. It doesn't have any fixed value. For example, you may call a 10% of commission I will get on some amount of sales. Okay, so let's say uh, you make a sales of $500, right? So what would be the 10%? That would be $50. If you make a sale of five lakh dollars, okay, then what would be the percentage? Ten percent. It's fifty thousand dollars, right? If you make a sale of one million, right, then what would be the sales? Then it would be fifty thousand, right? So it would be, uh, yeah, it would be around fifty thousand, right? So that depends upon that percentage units is totally depend upon the exact value is totally depend upon its parent okay to which we are comparing it with right so such a unit which we do define as percentage for example a hundred percent or ten percent or one hundred ten percent so that percentage is depend upon its parent okay and whatever the whatever its parents according to that the value of the relative child element will change right so now let's move to our third kind of unit that we do use often in css okay so here we mostly use font size and at the same time viewport okay so we do use viewport so that viewport means uh, if i refers to uh, view width right so that means what is the width of my device which i am using okay so for example if i'm using a laptop then the width of my laptop is different if i'm using a mobile right a smartphone then its width is different if I'm using a, a monitor, right, then its width is different. If I'm using a tablet, then its width is different. Okay. So that is what we call view width. Okay. And at the same time, if I consider the height of the device, then we refers to that VH. If I am considering, if I am fixing some units like V min or V max, right. So there we can use V min and V max. But often, Instead of using that viewport, viewport is basically used when we try to make our uh, layout responsive, okay, in such cases. But instead, we do more focus on font size, okay, because this is the most often used uh, unit in, uh, in any application, in any CSS page to make our responsive website, okay. So that we call as EM and REM. So these are the two units which we do use. So this font size unit is the one which we do more focus on as we progress in this course. 
okay so for now so for now this is enough and in the next video i will show you how you can use that percentage unit to make your website responsive okay so let's have a nice day and goodbye